The Vietnamese war is a tragedy, especially for us French who feel partially responsible. We fought there when it was still called the Indo-Chinese War. I went back to spend six weeks, night and day, with an American army platoon. I went back to rediscover the Vietnam I had left 13 years ago with the French army. But except for several poignant scenes, I discovered, above all, America. It began on a Sunday in September 1966. On this day, the Vietnamese in their pagodas tried to appease all the souls of the unburied dead. Wandering souls, those of beggars, prostitutes, and soldiers. my life. Deign, O oh Lord, to rescue me. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Five days later, at dawn, B Company goes into the valley. The Anderson platoon is the rear guard. The platoon consists of 33 men. 28 are draftees doing their two years of military service, of which one year will be spent in Vietnam. Negroes and whites are mixed together. The American army has been integrated since Korea. Lieutenant Anderson, platoon commander, 24, 
graduate of West Point. Raise, hydrodiumen, from South Carolina. Matthias, South Dakota. Duck, the platoon medic. Owens, sergeant. He will be wounded in an attack on a village. Bruce, Iowa. Keating, New Jersey. Shannon, killed two weeks later, 18 years old. Stockton, Michigan. Mormon, the barber, wounded in an attack on a village. Adila, a Texan rancher of Mexican origin. Sergeant Coots, Alabama. Gillum, scratched by a thorn, wounded two weeks later. Kivney, a beatnik from New York, wounded two weeks later. Labasek, Chicago. Great House, the blues singer, Alabama. Murray, the machine gunner, 18. Sergeant Lawson, California. Kelly and Watson, both wounded. The first in an attack on the village, the second two weeks later. After five days of fruitless searching in the jungle, Bravo Company is transferred to another hill. Bravo. The Anderson platoon is the first to land. Info channels, they say there's about 40 Victor Charlie in that location. Oh. Uh, three, five, right there. Several days, B Company patrolled the eastern slope of a foothill in the Anamitic Mountains. Twenty-five miles southwest, Anke, rear echelon of the 1st Cavalry Division. A radio transmitter broadcasts music for the soldiers ten hours a day. Music by uh, Connie Smith on a country and western tune there. The time right now, 17 minutes past two. You're listening to Armed Forces Radio, AM and FM, right here in On K. And music for you on a Sunday afternoon. Matter of fact, Miss Nancy Sinatra, boots are made for a walk-in. Yeah. 
dog gonna walk all over you Are you ready, Boots? At 3.30 that day, the forward scout of the Anderson platoon hears a strange noise on the right flank. Nothing. Only a female baboon crying for its missing mate. The same night, Bravo Company was moved to the coastal plain in the bend of the Oriang River. Owens. Anderson. In a village, the men discover a little girl wounded ten days earlier by a mortar or grenade explosion. At the base where the helicopter delivered the little girl, soldier Roy Mitover of Chicago sings some blues for his buddies. Very old. I try so hard to keep from crying, but my heart felt just like lead. That night, a patrol from Anderson's platoon was ambushed. In the ambush, Shannon was killed, Gillam, Kimi the Beatnik, Sanders and Watson were wounded. Oh. 
I try so hard to keep from crying, but my heart felt just like lead. She was all I had to live for. I was just She's gone. She's gone. Go. The next morning, at the outskirts of a village, Adila discovered machine gun belts, uniforms, and a list of the names of a Viet Cong female militia. The interpreter of the company questions the villagers. Bây giờ chúng tôi hỏi về tin tức mấy bà, mấy bà biết gì cộng ở đâu không? Không có. Không có mà lại có đồ gì cộng giấu đây? Mấy bà thấy cái... Không có, mấy hôm mà, mấy hôm mà nó đi mất không? The woman and two men are taken as suspects. in the afternoon it begins to rain and last throughout the night.
Anderson. Rays. Hill. Great house. Doug. Mormon. Murray. That evening, the Anderson platoon discovers a Viet Cong camp camouflaged in the jungle. It had been abandoned at least two weeks before. Several days later, the helicopter which has brought the hot meal hits a bound train during takeoff. Company moved into the valley, leaving the Anderson platoon to guard the hulk of the chopper. without let up for one week.
this helicopter, a loudspeaker invites the Viet Cong to defect or to surrender. Sir, my sister can't get under her clothes now. She's supposed to have a baby in January. <laughs> Gonna have to start buying them. What do they call them? Maternity. Yeah. Maternity clothes. Yeah. October Playboy. Oh! oh God! Oh! Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> ah, there, <laughs> boy! <laughs> Look at that. There it is. Woo! <laughs> hey, Lawson. Pack your shit. You on R&R to R seven. Bunk down. October 27, at Anke Airport, the rear base of the 1st Cavalry Division, Reyes receives the pass. Saigon is off limits, but even so, Reyes decides to duck the MPs and head for the capital city. Farmer from South Carolina. Upon arriving at Saigon, he wanted to rent an hotel room with a private bathroom. He had never had one before. Then he wanted to see the elephants at the zoo.
You won? That's 2000. You won? of the independence of South Vietnam. The Prime Minister, Nguyen Cao Ki, opens the military parade. government who are sitting on the reviewing stand. Grace says he feels safer in his platoon than here. able to see the elephants at the zoo. Nor did he have time to discover Saigon. He spent all his money, broke. It went back to the Anderson platoon four days before his leave was officially over. <laughs> 